Good afternoon. I am Mrs. Valeska Hill, the principal of the Cahokia High School. I would like to welcome everyone here to the class of 2022's ceremony, graduation ceremony. I would like to say thanks to Ms. Faith Jackson, Ms. Klein, and the Ms. Chisholm and the entire graduation planning committee. Job well done. Parents. Parents, on behalf of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Harvey and myself, we would like to say thank you for entrusting District 187 to educate your child the past four years. Our staff have built everlasting relationships and unforgettable memories with your child that will last a lifetime. As the principal, I'm honored to have served during the last three years, which we consider as covert years. This class will definitely go down in history because they are the only class at CHS who attended a full ninth grade year and 10th, 11th, and 12th grade were virtual as well as in person. Comanches, we could not be more proud of you. It's the perseverance and leadership for me. We realize that many of you all had art obstacles during your high school career, such as dealing with COVID mandates, testing, quarantine, mask, Lysol, Zoom, hand sanitizers, hand sanitizer, virtual learning, assignments on Google Classroom, social distancing, and mental health checks. Even with all of that, please know that today is a major milestone that you have accomplished, and remember that your Comanche family will always be here with you even after today. Class of 22, never forget to chase your dreams. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please rise for the presentation of colors and join us in reciting our Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the singing of the National Anthem and the Black National Anthem by our very own Savon Sanders. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
At this time, I would like to recognize the Board of Education members that are present, as well as the high school administration and any district office personnel that are here. Ms. Peggy Shelton is the current board president, and she has been a member of the board since 2007. Ms. Patina Powell is a board member. She's been one since 2018, and she is the vice president, and she's also a CHS alumni. Ms. Deborah Duncan, she's the board secretary. She's been a member of the board since 2017, and she also is a CHS alumni. Ms. Marilyn Stringfeller is the board treasurer. She's been a member since 2017. She too is a CHS alumni. Mr. Richard Duncan has been a board member since 2019. He too is a CHS alumni. Thank you so much to the board members that are present. We also want to take an opportunity to introduce our very own Dr. Arnett Harvey, Superintendent of Schools. And from the, we have Deputy Mayor Helm here as well. And from Central Office, we have Sierra Corley. We should have Tiffany Pierce, Dr. Belt, Dr. Rael, and Curtis McCall Jr. all sitting over to our left. And we also have Drake Jackson over to our left. So thank you to all of you all for joining us on this wonderful occasion. You can be seated. And we actually have a speaker that I'll introduce a little later, which is Senator Belt. At this time, I would like to introduce to you Miss Virgie Jones. Ver Virgie is the salutatorian. That means she's number two in her class. We can give her a round of applause for that. It is with great pleasure to introduce to her to you all. Over 22 years ago, I had her mom in class at Worth Middle School. So it's my pleasure to introduce to some and to reacquaint with others, Virgie Jones, two, class of 2022 salutatorian. According to the Webster's Dictionary, commencement means the act of instance of the beginning. So remember, this is not the end of our lives, but the beginning. Good afternoon, Cahokia High School staffs, families, and of course, the graduating class of 2022. I am Virgie Jones, the salutatorian of the Cahokia High School graduating class of 2022. I want everyone to know it was not as easy as it looked. Just like everyone else here, I am human. And being human, I have setbacks and obstacles that tries to stop me from chasing my dreams. Thinking back, I never thought I would be speaking in front of my graduating class of salutatorian, but look at me. These, these last four years of my life has been an emotional roller coaster, not just for me, but for all of us, and we survived. My class is especially unique because we went through high school thinking we would, be, we would get the same experience as our friends and family, not knowing a virus would change everything. But against all odds, we made it. Before I get started, I would like to give thanks to God, who is the head of my life and my past. And my pastor for praying for me and speaking great things into my future. Thank you. Growing up in a community such as the one I did, many know that there are a lack of resources and support for the scholars who want to further their education. Without my support system, I probably would have never known anything about my future after walking across the stage today. I will, my family, friends, coaches, and CH staff, CHS staff helped me see I did not have to be a stereotype of my community but I had to be a bright light. I am pleased to announce that I will be attending Southern Illinois University in the fall. Majoring in civil engineering. 
Thank you for thank you for helping me see the better things in life that life has to offer and making sure I chase my dreams. So many of us are going into nursing, armed forces, education, and construction. I cannot wait to see my class chase after their dreams in the next chapter. I want all of you to know, if you do not have a vision for tomorrow, please do not be afraid. We are the class of 2022, and if we can persevere like we have already done, we will continue to be history in the making. Find the things you do well and make a living out of the things that you love. We are graduating in the year of Jubilee, which means we are bound to be great. So chase those dreams. Your high school gradu graduating class will forever support you. So many people need to be recognized for my success because I am the definition of it takes a village to raise a child. At this moment, I would like to take a second and shout out my family, blood, and God sent. I would like to also give a special thanks to my mother, grandmother, and Craig. You all are the root of how I carry myself. I love you three so much, and I cannot wait to continue to make you happy. I have always loved to learn, but I was very shy. I was too shy to show my full potential. The faculty here let me be myself, and that was the worst thing they could have done. I'm just playing. It was actually the best. Special shout out to Dr. Pearson, Ms. Calhoun, Mrs. Trapp, Ms. Chisholm, and Mrs. Hill. These women were by my side through everything. If my class was slipping or not giving their all, they noticed and helped us all get, on, get back on track. Thank you. I know everyone in my life is so proud of me, but there is this one last person I need to recognize before I get this diploma. Everyone knows the saying that there is no one like your biological mother. My biological mother place will never be filled in my heart, but I had to open up a place right next to it for this special person. You all may know her as a person who works for the Cahokia Union School District 187, and this is true, but I know her as mom. This lady gets under-recognized, but she, does, she still does everything with a smile on her face. And whatever the event is, I bet it's going to be lit. She has also helped the class of 2022 with all of our big events throughout the last four years. I love and appreciate this lady so much. She is, she is more, more than likely crying by now because she's a crybaby. So someone please wipe her tears. We have to take some pictures after I get this diploma. Your kindness forever changed my heart and the heart of many others. My class and I are very thankful for all that you have done. Faith Jackson is the person that I'm talking about. But y'all knew that already. <laughs> Thank you for everything. The names I said are the reason that I am on this stage. I will forever be grateful for everything. As I stated before, the class of 2022 is the first class to go through a pandemic and return to school in a long time. To my classmates, I am so proud of you and everything that you have accomplished in the last four years. Y'all thought it was my attitude, now y'all know it's my standards. Oh, the places that will go, 2022. I cannot wait to see, I cannot wait to blow our peers' mind. Congratulations. Let's give one more round of applause to Virgie Jones, please. At this time, we would like to take a moment of silence in honor of any of our staff members who are no longer with us and any students that are no longer with us and also for the retirees at CHS this year. Thank you. Mr. Mitchell.
Congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> Dr. Annette Harvey is a graduate of Vashon High School. He attended Tennessee State University. He graduated from Washington University in St. Louis with his bachelor's, master's in economics, and his executive MBA. He achieved doctoral status at Western Illinois University along with earning a superintendent endorsement. He is a product of our community and believes education is a door opener for all opportunities and growth for the future. Dr. Harvey started his career in finance and banking. He worked as a controller for Centier Bank in downtown St. Louis. He then embarked upon a career in school business. He started as the junior accountant in the Parkway School District, then went on to become chief financial officer in the Edwardsville School District for five years before finally making Cahokia his home. Dr. Harvey has served over 30 years in school business, of which 25 of those years have been in Cahokia School District as the CFO and now as the superintendent. Class of 2022 and everyone in attendance, please give a warm welcome to our superintendent, Dr. Arnett Harvey. Thank you, Anson. Uh, to the class of 2022, this is your day, okay? And all the things that you guys have been through, it's amazing that you've made it as a stellar graduate of Cahokia High School. We also have to congratulate your parents and all the other people who support you. And remember that this part of the journey is just the beginning of the rest of the journey, all right? So I know that all of you understand what happens with TikTok challenges, right? So what I want you to think about is that if this part of your journey is the end of this part of the TikTok journey and challenge, what's the next day going to be? Some of you are headed off to college, others are headed into vocational training, others are going to military, and some still may be undecided. But let that be the challenge to make the next step of your journey the best step. Don't be left out. Don't become a part of what could have been, but be a part of what is going to be. With that, I graduate the class of 2022 and the movement that you're going to have for the rest of your life. Think on it, relish it, believe in it, believe in yourselves. You can make it happen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Superintendent Harvey, for, those great, for that great greeting. I have the distinct honor of introducing to you all Senator Christopher Belt. Christopher Belt is a lifelong resident of the Metro East. Christopher Belt holds a BS in history from Illinois State University, a master's in public education from SIUE, and a master's in professional counseling from Lindenwood in Belleville. Christopher Belt is married to his lovely wife of 26 years and counting, Dr. Stephanie Skurlock Belt. They have two beautiful children, Christiana Belt and a son, Chris, Stefan Christopher Belt, who is a junior at Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. Christopher Belt is an accomplished author of a children's book titled The Adventures of Nate the, Na the Gate. He is the immediate past chair of the Senate Black Caucus. He is currently the Senate Chair of Education for K through 12, and also the sub-chair of Appropriations for Education K through 12. Christopher Belt is a former law enforcement corrections official, as well as a former school board president of the Cahokia Unit School District 187. Please give a soft welcome to Senator Christopher Belt. Thank you to Principal Hill, and with protocol already being established, I have the honor and the pleasure to speak to you all. Good afternoon. I am so honored that I get to say this in front of all of you all right now. Congratulations. 
Graduation is a special time and it's filled with memories of the past four years. And it'll be about talking about the rest of your lives. But it's important that you all take in this moment, right here, this present moment. Recognize that you are achieving a life milestone and be proud of all you overcame and worked through to get here. Let that light inside of all of you all shine. Now, you didn't get a standard high school education. Because of the global pandemic, your sophomore, your junior year, and perhaps some of your senior year was entirely different than you expected. When you sat at your eighth grade graduation four years ago, yet you're here today. So when we say congratulations, know that it's congratulations for working hard to finish high school, for starting this next chapter of your lives, and for doing it all in the most unprecedented of circumstances. Feel the respect we have for you all today. Now, all of you all have someone who watched you grow over the last four years. It might be your mom, your dad, an aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa. For some, it might be your best friend that lifted you up at the most difficult moments in your life. It might be a teacher or a guidance counselor who sometimes felt like they were the only person in the whole world who believed in you and knew you'd make it to this moment. The persons who, fight, who are fighting back tears of pride right now, watching you up in these stands today, the person who fill you with the love that every single one of you deserve, no matter what. All of those people and the support they've given you help you get here today. But so has the will inside of each and every one of you. The pursuit of your own dreams, that self-confidence, though still blossoming, and who you are, though still evolving, will propel you forward in your path to make your dreams a reality. Your path, your dreams, not anyone else's. Stay true to yourself, and your path and your dreams are limited, limitless. So here again, I'll start, I'll finish as I start by saying Cahokia High School, class of 2020, 2022, congratulations and welcome to adulthood. Thank you very much, Senator Belt, for those encouraging words to the class of 22. At this time, we'll have Mr. Connors, the 12th grade counselor, join us on the stage. Good afternoon, parents. Hello, students. This will be my last time. Yeah, I know, last time. Okay, I've been charged with a couple things this uh, afternoon. First off, uh, I'm going to do the announcement of our scholarship awards. A lot of this stuff was uh, done at our honors uh, award ceremony, so I'm just going to briefly go over some of the highlights and then uh, just let you know where some of our uh, graduates have uh, said that they're going to go on to for the next uh, chapter in life. Okay, when I say your name, please stand up, please, to be recognized. Tamara Hughes, Ruthie Hurt, Alana Mazun, Olivia Gianuzzi, 
Virgie Jones, Asia Jones, Zaylia Davis, Robert Hill, Tyrese Brownlee, Alexandria Copeland, Let's see. Jameek Harvey, DeMarco Hudson, a lot, oh, I already said that, I'm sorry. Shardasia Sheard, Janiya Swift, Damian Phelps, Phelps. You already know I was gonna mess up somebody, sorry. They know I'm terrible with names. All of these uh, people that are standing right now are recipients of different uh, scholarships through the Cahokia School District. Now I'm going to go on and let you know where some of our students will be heading after graduation. You guys can have a seat. Okay, this is not in any order. I'm just gonna go through. Olivia Giannuzzi, Full Ride, Tennessee State University. Virgie Jones, Full Ride, SIU, Edwardsville. Ruthie, my girl Ruthie. Tennessee State University, Full Ride. I'm not gonna do any dollar amounts, so from here on out, I'll just say, um, where they're going. Zelia Davis, McKendry University, Alana Mazoon, Harris Stowe State University, Jonathan Lindsley, uh, Southwestern Illinois College, Shardasia Sheard, Indiana State University, Tamara Hughes, Indiana State University. Savon Sanders, Ball State University. <laughs> Nehemiah Jackson, U.S. Army. <laughs> Rachel Morrow, Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. <laughs> Kebion Swims, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> Asia Jones, Greenville University. Tyrese Brownlee, University of Illinois. Jason Stringer, Illinois State University. Samadre Brown, McKendry University. Jameek Harvey, University, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Janiah Swift, Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Diamond Chancellor, uh, Chandler, University of Kansas. Renisha Liggins, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Quentin Jones, Fontbonne University. William Washington, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Daniel Berry, Lane College. Micah Neal, U.S. Army. Orlando Granger, Fontbonne University. Fantasia Armstrong, U.S. Army. These are just to name a few of our uh, seniors that are going to be graduating and going on to do some great other great things. We have some that are going to be going to trade schools, uh, some others that are still undecided and are making their minds up. Uh, one last thing that I would like to leave with this group, I had the pleasure of having them all four years as their counselor. Um, I was with the ninth grade all the way through and it was a pleasure to have each and every one of you guys. I saw a lot of growth with you guys as you matured and became from young adults to now adults, and I'm proud of every single one of you, okay? I will miss you, so feel free to come back and say hello 
And when you do, I would love to have you guys speak to some of the underclassmen and just kind of tell them about your ride uh, that you took these four years because it was very, very bumpy. We started off with about 240 of you guys and we're to here now, okay? So we told you guys your freshman year was gonna be the most important year. I think Miss uh, Slack stayed on you guys about that and you're here now. So again, so proud of each and every one of you guys and I'm looking forward to hearing about all the things that you guys are gonna be doing in the future. Thank you. Okay, I also have the pleasure of, give me just a second. Doing our honors recognition, and this is for the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society was founded in 1921 and hopes to create an organization that recognizes and encourages academic achievement and student leadership. It is more than an honor roll, as these students excel in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Each student must complete community service hours, hold a 3.5 or higher GPA, take honors courses, indulge in leadership opportunities, along with maintaining an excellent behavior record and rapport with staff and students. We would like to give special recognition to the following nine seniors in gold cords and tassels who have met all criteria for the National Honor Society. Please hold your applause to the end as these students will remain standing. Alexandria Copeland, please stand. Zalia Davis, Olivia Giannuzzi, DeMarco Hudson, Tamara Hughes, my girl Ruthie Hurt, Virgie Jones, Alana Mazoon, and Shardasia Sheard. You can, yep, clap it up for them. We are all thankful for your hard work and dedication to your scholastic achievement. We look forward to hearing about your future successes. Again, give them one more round of applause as they take their seat. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Connors. It's always great to recognize our students and their successes. I have the pleasure of introducing to you the valedictorian for CHS for the class of 2022, Miss Olivia Giannuzzi. Olivia has led her class academically throughout her entire educational endeavor and has been and has been an excellent role model for all her classmates throughout the years. Thank you so much, Olivia, for your hard work and dedication to CHS. The scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13, is my favorite to recite of all and one that I live by each and every day. Without God, I know I wouldn't have been able to make it this far. Good afternoon, CHS family, parents, staff, and the scholarly senior graduating class of 2022. It is a blessing to be in presence with you all today on this beautiful Sunday, May 22nd of 2022. It is an honor to be standing here at this podium before my class, Olivia Giannuzzi, as the valedictorian of the high school senior class of 22.
Over the course of my high school career, I have learned, grown, and overcame. I have elevated from the person I was four years ago. I like to compare my journey to living through a storm. We've all experienced unique storms in life. Some last longer, some are worse than others, and most are unexpected. Some affects everyone around, and other storms are personal or internal. I believe everything happens for a reason, and experiencing different storms in my life has taught me resilience, independence, and consciousness, to name a few. We can't control the weather, where we are at the exact moment when it happens, or what roads we wish to take that are unfortunately blocked from being flooded through. But we can choose an alternative path that of course would still come with detours, potholes, and difficult obstacles like completely stopping to move fallen tree branches out of the way because no trail is perfect. We must keep moving. We're farther than we were once before. I was always told that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. When the storm is calm and the rain stops, the sun will shine again. I have learned to embrace my storms. It's mind over matter. I'm grateful for the lessons of my storm and God for guidance and protecting my sound mind. I'm proud of myself for continuing on despite adversities. There are plenty of days of feeling exhausted and overwhelmed with practice, club meetings, and or having work after school, followed by staying up to finish AP readings, studying assignments, and repeating it five days a week, looking forward to Friday. I always had a to-do list and kept my mind occupied. I have been a straight-A student my whole life, and it is a part of who I am. School was an outlet for me. Though I might not have shown it, I've had moments where I wanted to give up and have completely isolated myself to realize I've come such a long way, so close to the finish line, and sometimes I just overthink everything, always, and just need to take a breath. Some will wonder and ask how I keep up with myself as an active teenager Living through a pandemic in high school with so many responsibilities as a young multiracial female. In response, I would just smile. I knew my story. I knew I couldn't give up. I didn't give myself the option. I am history in the making. We are history in the making. I am graduating the top of my class which someone who looks like me wouldn't have had the same opportunities decades ago because they were denied education. I kept my head in the books because my ancestors had their heads and hands cut off for doing the same. I am loud and proud about my education because they had a sneak to get theirs. It is an arrangement of emotions, knowing how far we have come, knowing the hoops we have jumped to get here. Though it was challenging managing, I took advantage of my education. It was an eye opener and needed for character development and overall growth. I was able to reevaluate, evaluate my thought process. I was able to become a better, ver better version of myself. I stopped, faced reality, saw the world through a new lens, new lens, and we began preparing and thinking forward about my future. I realized what type of career and lifestyle I wanted for myself. I will break generational barriers. I will be the first generation college student in my family. I hope to make a difference in my hometown, my community, and my nation. 
Growing up, I have always been attracted to trying new things and learning. By practicing time management, man, man, uh, management <laughs> and good study habits, I am pleased to announce I will be attending Tennessee State University this fall on a blessed full scholarship to further my education, majoring in business administration, minoring in plant and soil with hopes of starting up plant and herbal business. I believe that health is wealth in all aspects and have been interested in others' well-being. So I plan to come back and create a community garden. I have not done this alone. I would like to stop and smell the cherished rainwater flowers with everyone who has been by my side to help me be become who I am today. First and foremost, I have to give thanks to the Almighty God for everything he has done for me in my life. He has put amazing people in my life that has made a difference and impacted me tremendously. I would next like to thank my family in the crowds for encouragement, support, and celebrating important sentimental moments like this with me. I thank my parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, and nephews for their special roles in my life. You're dear to me, I love you all. Being a FaceTime, phone, or text message away, I know I could count on you all. To my brothers and sister who are always there to make suggestions, Help me and hear me out. Thank you. To my youngest brother, Chase, I am very proud of you. Being a student athlete, also top three in his class as a junior marshal, you are all role models to me. Thank you for all the fun, exciting childhood memories leading up to now, the laughs, crying, and ultimately sticking by my side. I wouldn't trade any of you in for the world, even if I was joked around with all the time for all the time I spent on my studies and homework. Although my grandparents are with me physically, I know they are spiritually, and I hope I have made them proud that they will continue watching over me and resting in peace. They will forever live on in my heart. I want to thank my papa's older sister, my Aunt Nikki, for your wisdom, love, always checking up and supporting me. Our phone calls. <laughs> Our phone calls mean the world to me. And I have always looked forward to them, especially last year during COVID hearing stories from the past of your younger days leading up to the future. We can talk and laugh about anything. It helped me to stay on track, hearing you in the back of my head, reminding me to keep my head on straight and to always keep gas in my truck. I ran out a few times. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. To my parents, mama and daddy, Thank you. Thank you for always nurturing and teaching me valuable life lessons. Thank you for the countless hours of attending plays, games, track meets, banquets, field trips, pep rallies, peaceful protests, <laughs> and so much more. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me to recite my assignments over and over and giving feedback. Thank you for buying my supplies last minute and even giving ideas. Thanks, Mom, for taking me to school early mornings when I should have been riding the bus. Thank you both for always being involved in my life. Thank you for teaching me to be a humble, grateful young lady and to keep God first, to have faith over fear. I appreciate you for instilling him in me, to have patience and that better things come to those who wait, to be kind to others, to be my authentic self, to have a strong worth ethic and to be a helping hand for clothing, feeding, and sheltering me. Thank you for engaging me and wanting more knowledge from my mom playing school with us as younger kids 
and dad always having an interesting documentary or channel on TV and bringing home books for us to read. They tell me there are new opportunities each day and to take advantage, take advantage of them. My parents don't have degrees, they are not famous, and they are not rich. They are human, have struggled, made mistakes, but they are special to me. I know, it, I know they always have my back. I hope to one day pay you both, both back. Your sacrifice, get so excited. Your sacrifices have not gone on notice, and your smiles mean the world to me. I love you both. To my educators over the years, dating back to preschool, thank you. To my mentors, administrators, counselors, coaches, nurses, secretaries, lunch ladies, janitors, and other staff members in the CHS family, thank you all. Your daily interaction and conversations will live a lifetime in my heart. Thank you for the time and the efforts day in and day out of the classroom, serving us education and preparing us for the next level. I want to give a special sh shout out to Mr. He, Mrs. Trapp, and Mrs. Hill for always going above and beyond. From late night emails during COVID, making sure I understood assignments, filling out recommendation, recommendation letters, accepting late work, allowing us students to use the last hour as a plan period from time to time, making it worthwhile, always keeping me updated on scholarship info, giving amazing feedback, and always being de dependable all in all. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Klein, for always being at events, capturing all of our highlighted moments over the years. We'll cherish them for a lifetime. All of the extracurricular activities I have been a part of played an important role in shaping me into who I am. Thank you, Upper Brown upper bound for the college readiness insight touring opportunities teaching me to network and make connections and helping me to visit and select the university I'll soon be attending to my friends of thick and thin and fellow classmates of 22 most I've grown up with known since preschool Centerville and Lalamere days some I've become close with in high school had multiple classes with shared bonds with. I want to congratulate everyone on this achieved milestone as we enter our next chapter in life, adulthood. I hope all of your dreams are fulfilled. Remember, nothing can hold you back but you. We are leaders in the future of the world. We have gone great lengths to be where and who we are today. We are conquerors and have made changes. It doesn't stop here. I look forward to coming to Friday night, football games, homecoming pep rallies, parades, coming to class, laughing, enjoying, learning in a fun way, lunch, prom, and all the other senior activities the officers plan for us in and out of school. I look forward to hanging out on the weekends and staying, in, staying up late, finishing assignments afterwards. Thank you for the unforgettable memories. Through blood, sweat, and tears, we have worked hard and we have earned it. During COVID, it was challenging being virtual, but we surpassed and made it through. I know we will continue doing great things, making memories before we're off into our own lives. I hope we stay in touch, no matter the paths we take, in the midst of our storms, keep pushing through. You are not alone. I wish you nothing but success, prosperity, good health, wealth, and happiness in abundance. Knowledge is power. I cherish all of our moments, especially right now. Remember to walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Congratulations, class of 22. We did it. To the junior marshal class of 23, congratulations. We, we, congratulations. We pass the baton to you. You're up next. Thanks for listening.
You have officially heard for the class, from the class of 22's valedictorian. Let's give her one more round of applause. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the president of the class of 22, Ms. Tamira Hughes, who will be attending Indiana State University on a full scholarship. She has led this class this year with such confidence and poise. Please join me, Ms. Tamira Hughes. I'm stronger, I'm wiser, and I'm better. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tamira Hughes. I am the senior class president of the class of 2022 at the Cahokia High School. I would first like to greet all the parents, family, friends, teachers, staff, coaches, and administrators who took the time out of your very busy schedules to attend such a beautiful, unforgettable, and memorable moment on May 22nd, 2022. I would second like to greet one of the best classes Cahokia High School has seen, the class of 2022. I am first and foremost beyond proud of every single CHS 2022 graduate who is sitting here before me today. And all of you should be beyond proud of yourselves and everything you have accomplished over the course of the past four years. I would like to thank each and every one of you for giving me the opportunity to create endless memories for us to share during this school year. Being senior class president has shaped me into a very determined leader. I took on this role because I knew I was going to be strong enough to handle the days when I could not please everyone, the days that I had to juggle homework and being president at the same time, or the days I would have to spend negotiating with teachers and admin to make sure an event was planned as well as carried out correctly. All of this together has made me a more organized, strong, confident young woman. And I would again like to thank the class of 2022 for this. I would now like to give thanks and appreciate all of the people who have helped shape me into becoming the young woman I have become. The first and most important thanks I would like to give is to God. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 reads, for nothing will be impossible with God. I would next like to give my biggest thanks to my older brother Antonio I would next like to thank my parents. My dad and my mom has always been there for me whenever and however they could. I would like to give thanks to my grandparents. Rest in peace to my grandfather. He will forever live on in my heart. He was one of the most inspirational people I have ever met. I would like to give a special thanks to Mr. Hill, Mrs. Trapp, Dr. Pearson, Ms. Perry, and Mrs. Lockman, as well as Ms. Faith Jackson and Ms. Vernetta Jones, as well as all of my educators. But these individuals have always supported any goal I wanted to achieve, any event that I wanted to plan, motivated me to keep going, or just simply being some of the best teachers I have had in high school. I would like to thank my softball coach, Coach Cruzy. He has taught me how to be more confident and has never let me make any excuses. As he would say, we don't make excuses because excuses are like butts and they all stink. 
I would like to thank my friends and relatives for always being a listening ear whenever I felt as if I wanted to give up. I would last but not least like to thank the principal of Cahokia High School, Mrs. Hill. She has supported me through every idea I have had this year, and I am externally grateful for all of her hard work and dedication she has shown me throughout the school year. What I would like the class of 2022 of Cahokia High School to remember from me is never forget to chase your dreams. We have so many options, paths, and directions in this life that it might get very difficult sometimes to just choose only one. But always remember, you must crawl before you walk. It doesn't have to be the biggest dream, whether it's the trade you want to train for, the degree you want to earn, the job you want to work, or even the place you want to move to and just start over. Whatever it is, never give up on it. These four years have been a roller coaster for the class of 2022. The class of 22 has only had one full year of high school without any COVID restrictions, which was our freshman year. We were very unaware was yet to come, yet we still cherish one enough to the fullest. Once a Comanche, always a Comanche. Let's give the senior class president one more round of applause, Ms. Tamira Hughes. If I could just take one moment to recognize the high school administration, I omitted that earlier, so please forgive me. Ms. Mr. Anson Mitchell is the 11th and 12th grade principal. Mr. Mario Bell is the 10th grade principal. Ms. Felicia Rush Taylor is the ninth grade principal. And last but certainly not least, Ms. Phyllis Slack is the ACDC principal. <laughs> we appreciate all they have done over the course of the four years and definitely what they've done to pull this off this, this afternoon. At this time, we will continue with our tradition. We generally let the class the graduating class choose the callers of the name. So this year, with no further ado, we have Miss Angie Perry, who's retiring. She's been at CHS for 23 years, and I think she said education for about 25, 26. This is it for her, and we appreciate her as she walks to the stage. Her counterpart this afternoon is Miss Kenzie Jenkins. She is a math teacher at the Cahokia High School and obviously very well liked by the class of 22. Thank you, ladies.
Marquise Allen. Fantasia Armstrong. Caden Bell. <laughs> Daniel Berry. Kiviana Beverly. Dakel Brown. Desmond Brown. Samandre Brown. Tyrese Brownlee. <laughs> Jada Buchanan. Cordarius Kaysen. Diamond Chandler. Aaron Chapman. Mariah Cobbs. <laughs> Brianna Collins. <laughs> Exandria Cope. Oh. Alexandria Copeland. I even had my finger by it. Alexandria Copeland. Copeland. 
Zalia Davis. DeAndre Dent. Steven Dickerson. Lamario Dow. Timothy Dunlap. Ayana Edwards. <laughs> Alexis Ennis. Shermaine Farrar. Olivia Giannuzzi. <laughs> Jeremiah Gonzalez. Orlando Granger. Markel Hampton. Janila Hardaway. Anaya Harrison. <laughs> Jimmy Carvey. Donnell Hopkins. Kenyon Hayes. Christian Hill. Robert Hill. Victoria Hopkins. <laughs> DeMarco Hudson Jr. Tamira Hughes.
Arman Huff. Mariah Hunter. Ruthie Hart. Soraya Israel. Shemaya Israel. Drake Jackson. Nehemiah Jackson. Asia Jones. Quentin Jones. Virgie Jones. Desiree Keel. Lorando King. Omarion Lewis. Lazaria Lewis Winters. Renisha Liggins. Jonathan Lindsley. Carl Lofton. Cortland Martin. Tashia Martin. Alana Mazoon. Amy McCoy. Cameron McDonald. Jamisha Miller. Amaya Moran.
Rachel Morrow. Micah Neal. Daniel Nolan. Damian Phipps. Carmen Pitts. Skyla Ramirez. Summer Roby. Dariana Ross. Donnie Russell. Jonathan Sally. Imani Sanders. <laughs> Isaiah Sanders. Sanders <laughs> Kyla Sanders <laughs> Savon Sanders Sean Sales. <laughs> Notorian Scales. Christopher Shaw. Clifton Shaw. Shardasia Shear. Joshua Singleton. Kaylin Smith. Jacob Snorton. Yeah. 
Bianca Starks. Jason Stringer. Janaya Swift. <laughs> Kevion Swims. Asia Swiger. Lathan Tate. Lakendra Taylor. Willie Thomas. Devion Walker. <laughs> Nyla Walker. Shakia Walker. Arianne Washington. Denila Washington. William Washington. Jamarion Weir. Marquis Wells. <laughs> Janaya White. Cambrio Wilkinson. Jamarion Williams. Jamaya Williams. Jermaine Williams. Jermaine Williams. Nikia Williams. Tanaya Williams.
Joshua Wilson. Mianche Wright. Okay, we're almost done. We are almost done. Give me a couple seconds. Dr. Harvey, Superintendent Dr. Harvey, and Board President Ms. Shelton, would you remain standing? Madam President, I would like to present to you the class of 2020 who've met all graduation requirements according to the Illinois State Board of Education. I'm sorry, 2022. Let me get it right. I accept. Say it because they didn't hear you. I accept. There you go. All right. Class of 22, you can now flip your tassels. You are official. At this time, I need all graduates to go back to your seats. Pod leaders, can you please report to position? All pod leaders, please report to your position. Graduates, make sure you grab your caps and your tassels. Pod leaders are in position. Pod leaders can lead your group out. Faculty and staff, thank you for the Soul Train line as we extend gratitude to the class of 2022. Thank you, pod leaders. Staff members from board office, that's over to your right. If you wanna join the line to graduate them on your way out, you can. Obviously, board members are, if you would like to do that as well, they're just gonna have them go down the line one final time. Again, congratulations to the class of 22 from the Cahokia High School. That concludes our ceremony. Have a great rest of your day.